36 minutes ag of NFL Draft is Thursday to Saturday in Nashville, Tennessee. Each day leading up to the first round, the Tribune Review is compiling a positional preview of the top draft prospects. Today, defensive lineman 1. Quinn and Williams, Alabama, 6 3, 303. The 300 pounder ran a 4.83 40 yard dash at the NFL Combine, showing off his speed. Williams was a finalist for the Nagurski, Bednarik, and Outland honors after being named a first team All American as a redshirt sophomore. In his final season, Williams had 70 tackles, including 181 halves for loss, while adding seven sacks and a safety. As a redshirt freshman, he had 61 halves tackles for loss and two sacks. 2. Christian Wilkins Clemson, 6-3, 3, 315 Wilkins was named a first-team All-American as a senior when he had 57 tackles, including 15 for loss, and 6 sacks. That was nothing new. Wilkins starred for four seasons on Clemson's defensive line and was a member of two national championship teams. He switched from defensive end to tackle for his junior season. He also needed just two and a half years to earn his undergraduate degree. 3. Ed Oliver Houston, 6-2, 2, 287 Oliver crammed a lot of accolades into three years at Houston. As a freshman, he was named a first-team All-American. As a sophomore, he won the Outland Trophy and was a finalist for the Nagurski Award. A knee injury limited Oliver to eight games as a junior, but he still recorded 54 tackles, 141 halves for loss, three sacks and two pass breakups. For Jeffrey Simmons Mississippi State, 6-4, 301 Simmons punctuated his three years at Mississippi State with 63 tackles that included 17 for a loss last season. It was the second year in a row in which he was named first-team All-SEC. As a sophomore, he contributed 60 tackles, 12 for loss, and 5 sacks. He also made 3 starts as a freshman. 5. Dexter Lawrence Clemson, 6-4, 342 Lawrence raised concerns in December when he tested positive for a performance-enhancing drug, which made him ineligible for Clemson's playoff run to the national title. In 13 starts as a junior, he had 44 tackles, 71 halves for loss and 11 half sacks while earning first-team All-ACC honors. When he arrived at Clemson, Lawrence started 11 games and was named ACC Defensive Freshman of the Year after recording 79 tackles, 91 halves for loss and 7 sacks. He also was a first-team All-ACC pick as a sophomore. 6. Rashawn Gary, Michigan, 6-4, 277 at defensive end, Gary left after his junior season and showed his speed at the NFL Combine by running the 40 in 4.58 seconds. A two-time All-Big Ten player, Gary had 44 tackles, 7 for loss and 31 half sacks in his final season. The previous year, he became a first-team All-Conference pick by accumulating 66 tackles, 12 for loss and 6 sacks. 7. Jerry Tillery Notre Dame, 6 to 6, 295 Tillery entered Notre Dame as an offensive lineman, but he was switched to the other side of the ball as a freshman when he made 3 starts. He started his final 3 years for the Fighting Irish and he emerged as one of the nation's top defensive tackles as a junior when he had 56 tackles, 9 for loss and 41 half sacks. As a senior, he contributed 30 tackles, 10 halves for loss, 8 sacks, 3 forced fumbles and 2 blocked kicks. 8. Draymond Jones Ohio State, 6-3, 281 A 3-year starter for the Buckeyes after being redshirted as a freshman, Jones became a first-team All-Big Ten player last season when he had 43 tackles, 13 for loss, 81 half sacks, 1 interception and 3 fumble recoveries. That was a vast improvement over his sophomore year when he had just one sack. 9. Zach Allen Boston College, 6-4, 281 Allen was a disruptive force from his defensive end position as a senior. 
He had 61 tackles, 61 half sacks, 1 interception, 7 passes defensed and 2 blocked kicks for the Eagles. As a sophomore, he was one of only two FBS defensive linemen to record 100 tackles, which included 151 halves for loss, and 6 sacks. 10 Gerald Willis 3 Miami, 6-2, 3-2 Willis began his college career at Florida, but he was dismissed from the team after his freshman year and transferred to Miami. He also took a leave of absence in 2017 before becoming a productive defensive tackle for the Hurricanes last season. He was named a second-team All-American after recording 59 tackles, including 18 for a loss, and 4 sacks. Homegrown Kevin Givens Penn State, 6-1, 285 An Altoona native, Given left Penn State after his redshirt junior season. He started 11 games combined over his redshirt freshman and sophomore seasons when he played defensive tackle and end. He broke out last season when he made 12 starts and had 33 tackles, including 10.5 for loss, and 5 sacks. Best fit for Steelers Charles Omenihu Texas, 6-5-280 Omenihu was the only defensive lineman to visit the Steelers as a pre-draft visitor. He played all four seasons for the Longhorns, starting his final two. As a senior, he led Texas with 18 tackles for loss and 9.5 and sacks. In his junior season, he tied for the team lead with four sacks, and he had seven tackles for a loss. Joe Rudder is a Tribune Review staff writer. You can contact Joe by email at jrudder at tribweb.com or via Twitter. Tribe Live's daily and weekly email newsletters deliver the news you want and information you need, right to your inbox. More Steelers, NFL stories let's block ads. Why? 